Hey, Smokestack fans, Johnny C. here in New Jersey. This is part two of troubleshooting the Onan OT70 transfer switch. In part one, we replaced the motherboard and the transformer board, which were uh, burned. Uh, the replacements came from uh, the internet on eBay. We put them in. We got a lot further than uh, before with the burned out boards, uh, but a problem still existed. Uh, which was it was not retransferring back from the generator to the load and shutting down the generator. So uh, we had to dig in a little bit further. Uh, what I did, I got out the uh, diagnostics for the particular problem that I was experiencing along with the schematics so right there and just basically went down the line. What I ended up uh, was after doing all the diagnostics, uh, it was pointing me towards the K1 relay which is this top guy right here and uh, there are several several different possibilities that uh, could cause the problem with the uh, relay uh, the possibilities that it mentions in here uh, was kind of true it was not making connection from uh, one of the terminals up to the motherboard but uh, with my experience with the, these type of relays that I have in this box right here uh, in the knowing that this was in a moist uh, area it was actually a dirty contact okay I verified that by taking my uh, meter right here and checking the continuity on the uh, terminals and sure enough uh, it was a bad contact or contacts but particularly the one that I was focusing on so I cleaned up both relays I got them hanging there right now because I'm doing some more testing uh, and we're gonna run a quick test right now so what I'm gonna do right now we are powered on the line side uh, with these two light bulbs this is a, a 240 uh, single phase 120 120 for 240 uh, right now it's connected to my MIG welder outlet what I'm going to do I'm going to simulate a power failure uh, by cutting the breaker and what's going to happen is that uh, there's going to be some timing between the time I shut the power off from the line side to the time the generator starts up. There's delays for, for different reasons. One, I got the uh, preheat relay, which I would use for my diesel set. And two, uh, what it's gonna do after when it starts the uh, generator, it's gonna allow it to run a little while. I got the timing set real low to let it stabilize before it bangs it with a load, okay? These two light bulbs are nothing, but in reality, in a real world situation, this could be uh, connected to your house, uh, you know, appliances, whatever. So here I go. Here we go, actually. I'm going to simulate a power failure by cutting the uh, power from the line side, okay? All right. So I don't have the cover on the box, but basically what it's doing is saying it's going to start. Right now, it's on the uh, preheat uh, timing uh, delay. Here we go. All right, generator started. Oh, I should have caught it, but what it did, it moved down the bar. Right now, we're on generator power. Okay, we got this far before when we replaced the uh, bad motherboard and the bad transformer board. No problem. Okay, great. But the problem existed when I ended up restoring the power on the line side, like as if the power failure was over and done with. Uh, the, the, the transfer switch did sense power from the line side, and the lights indicated that I was retransferring, but it actually wasn't. It was sticking on the generator. Side. and uh, the thing was the generator would have just kept running until uh, it was out of fuel then uh, we would have no light so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to restore the line side okay uh, simulate you know the fixing of a, of a power failure problem so I'm going to click up the breaker right now okay so there's going to be a slight delay okay I'm going to focus it on this bar right here in a moment, the generator uh, is going to retransfer. The generator is going to shut down. You're going to see that bar pop up, okay? So we'll just give it, there we go. Boom. Okay, great. Excellent. The generator is still running, okay, because it's actually like cooling down now. There we go. It automatically shut off. And uh, our lights are still on uh, from the line side after that bar uh, snapped upwards when you heard the big click. This uh, transfer switch is now working 100%. Uh, so. Let's summarize what the problems were. Okay, first of all, I bought this transfer switch uh, for a few bucks, 225 bucks. Got it home, bad motherboard, bad transformer board. The motherboard, which is actually this, and it came with the uh, the uh, delay and sensor boards, got that for 20 bucks over the internet, okay, eBay, which was a hell of a deal. 
the uh, transformer board I had to pay like $136 okay there's no question about it they were burned okay uh, I showed that in my last video uh, and after that we got past that point uh, was not retransferring power back uh, from the generator to uh, the line side when power was restored on the line side and that was because of a, uh, a dirty contact on one of these relays they're all cleaned up they're functioning 100% uh, I'm gonna put it all back together and uh, this is a fully functional uh, transfer switch now so uh, that's about it okay uh, I don't know if, uh, what I'm gonna do with this thing now maybe paint it I have no clue okay we got another one right here it's a different model the internals are a little bit different uh, let's see if I get this thing open it works 100% I even have a controller on the front that I installed but you know basically everything runs off of relays in this one it's a lot simpler I guess you could say but uh, I had problems as I think I mentioned earlier in this video uh, with the relays in this when I first got it they just needed to be cleaned up so the lesson here is if you get any of these old owning, owning ATS's you got some strange problems you got these type of relays it's like a cube thing okay here's the cover uh, it might be good just to use a good quality uh, terminal cleaner contact cleaner to clean off the terminals this was in a very moist location uh, you could probably see rust on the terminals down here I don't want to touch anything because this thing's still live and uh, you know there's rust on top rust up there you know so you know I knew pretty much that the contacts were probably going to be in bad shape but that's really about it uh, don't tell anybody but you know here the manual says that only a qualified uh, uh, person should be uh, fixing these things I'm not qualified to even take out the uh, kitchen garbage but nonetheless we got over the problems thing is working 100 percent uh what am i gonna do with this thing i have no clue because i got one right here too but anyway i got a bunch of sets over here i got diesels i got gas i got gasoline sets we'll hook it up we'll do something with it but uh i guess now i gotta find another project anyway i really appreciate all the help that i got from uh, people commenting on the smokestack uh on forum uh it's been great working with these guys out there they're super so uh uh, who gave me the tip where to buy the motherboard? Was it Velocity Dave? I'm not really sure. I, I apologize. I forget, but uh, I got to give you uh, credit for uh, leading me on for it. You know, th this uh, motherboard right here for 20 bucks. I did see uh, similar boards, the same numbers, whatever, on the internet, eBay, going for like uh, two, three hundred dollars. So, man, I tell you, I owe you a beer if I ever meet you. So, once again, Smokestack fans, thank you very much for all your input. Uh, we'll put the, this thing back together again, you know, with the covers and button it up and make it look nice. All right, Johnny C. from New Jersey. I think that's, uh, that's it. Bye.